again, any successful interpersonal encounter has at least an element of that. That you are aware of the other and as well as yourself in a way that allows you to be present and uh, that that's what makes any sort of satisfying interpersonal encounter. Whether it be a first date or quickly in the hall. That was, it wasn't our first date, but we, we've hung out before. So any inter satisfying interpersonal encounter has to be able to navigate that. I think that um, with a the beginning therapist, there's a point at which, and it's really in some ways, this may be something we want to talk about later on, but sure. the therapist at some point, particularly even if, even if you work from a more directive, like cognitive behavioral sort of treatment, you still have to make use of yourself. You are a walking assessment tool. You, are, you have a capacity to be able to know what's going on in the other by finding them in yourself. And that can often be a bit. And that's not just a tool for assessment. But that's also one of the things that helps to heal. When, um, when a patient can see an echo of themselves, a reflection of themselves in you, it helps them to be able to own parts of themselves too. There's, there's a real important part of, of allowing yourself to find the person in you.